terminology. It's it's a new defensive system, and um, you know there's there's one element to it that the meeting room. Uh, they, they can come out of that with a good understanding of what to do, but you know when things are happening fast and and you know you get in, into the uh, to the to the team reps and and things are flying and you got to be physical and, and all that goes with it. Uh, there is that learning curve, but um, you know I'm, I'm really pleased with where we're at um, after after ten practices. Sione's guy who's played a lot of college ball. What does he bring to the group, and what does he kind of show from a maturity standpoint? Uh, he brings a consistent work ethic, you know, and I think that's kind of reflective of who he is. Every day he shows up, every day he works hard in the meeting room, takes notes. Um, every day when he, when he comes to, to pra the practice field, um, he's got a focus to him, and I think that that is a reflection of his maturity. But, you know, I think more than anything that's just who he is and one of the things that we love that he's bringing to, to our team. Is the scheme much different, like what the responsibilities, from what he did at his previous school? Versus um, you know, I don't have a great feel for what he did at you know at, at Oregon State. I mean, we uh, we've talked a little about it, and I watched obviously his film, but we we never really got too deep into to what their schematics were. He has said this is different, um, you know, and and uh, he seems to enjoy it. So I, I think it's it's going it's going well, but we haven't really gotten into that a lot. How intriguing is Tommy as a guy who can play inside and outside? Well, you need those guys that have some versatility to him, um, and he is he is that guy for us right now. And we've had other guys like that in the past. You know, Kier Thomas kind of did some of that more on third down, one inside. Uh, Dennis Briggs has done that a little bit. Um, and, and now I think Tommy has that opportunity uh, to do that for us. And, and having those guys with some, some versatility does add some flexibility to what you do with your packages. Came into the spring, there was a lot of talk about Pat added weight and all that. How has that been reflected in 10 practices? What has he done? Pat's had his best 10 days uh, that I've seen him have since he's been here. Um, he's he's playing fast. He's playing confident. Um, he's 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 growing, you know, as a person and as a player. And uh, I'm really excited about the direction he's headed. Seems like you're doing some different things with him uh, in scheme. Not to get too detailed, but are you? Well, uh, I don't know as much different, but he's kind of at level three or four, where other guys are kind of still at level one or two in terms of their development. So he's able to kind of take his game to a, a, a little bit different level, um, and, and that's that's what you want. You know, when a guy's been in your program as long as he has, you hope that you can kind of take that that next step with him, and um, he's done a really good job with it. What's Marvin like as a just getting to know him as a person as a, as a player? I've known him, you know, I knew him pretty well, obviously, through the recruiting process, but, um, you know, he's a pretty even keel personality, uh, but he is a competitor on the field. Um, he has a lot of pride in, in, in his performance, and, uh, you know, he's not a loud, you know, vocal person on the field, but he is loud with how he plays, and uh, you know, I've been impressed with how he's approached his work. How is Byron handled three new guys coming in the room and the shuffling of the deck, basically? Good. I mean, he just comes he works. You know, I think Byron's had his best overall semester that he's ever had here. Um, and that's in every way. That's in the weight room. That's academically. That's, you know, with the work that he's putting on the field. So, um, you know, I think he's responding in the way that you want a guy to respond. That, you know, at this level, especially in this day and age of college football, the, the deck does get shuffled every year. And, um, you know, you got to be prepared to compete every year. And, and that's what he's doing. We're starting to see more of Lamont Green and, and also uh, Hester. Uh, they're you know, young in their development. I guess. Yeah, you know, Aaron's, Aaron's really had a good spring. Um, he's been impactful when he's been in there. Um, you know, it, it, he's he's made uh, the incremental growth that you want him to make going into this this uh, this now is going to be his third year. Um, so I've been pleased with that. Uh, Boots uh, Lamont keeps working. Um, you know, he's coming off an injury, so he's got a little rust to knock off. But um, he's a guy that that I know it's really important to him. He's just going to keep battling and working, and, and we'll see where it goes. Coach Norvell mentioned that in the scrimmage, Marvin had a play where it was just like kind of. Like kind of get get your attention. Does he flash things like that? For, I mean, is he just still scratching the surface of what what he could be? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I mean, he's nowhere near um, being a finished product, especially within what we're doing defensively. Um, you know, but he does. He has that that flash playability, and you see enough where you're like, okay, if we can get everything kind of all tied together here in the next four or five months, he's going to be he's going to be a really good player for us. We don't talk much about your specialists, but uh, you got two veterans coming back. What have you seen from your kicker and punter? Uh, some real maturity. Um, both of them had have, had really good moments this spring, and really both of them had days that that 
they would like to probably have back. Um, but I think I think the thing that that is reflective of their maturity is that in both cases when they've had days that they didn't really probably weren't really pleased with they came back the next day and may have had their best best days um, and, and that is maturity you don't let yourself get into a, a rut you don't let yourself get in a hole you have a bad day you put it away you move on and uh, they're good enough and, and they're experienced enough to know how to make the corrections options do you feel confident you guys have answers there obviously replacing people yeah I feel really good about where we're at in the return game uh, I think we got some explosive playmakers back there and um, I think I think it could be pretty exciting for us is Jalen a guy who can wear a hat and do both kicks and punt returns Jalen could do both yep Jalen could do both uh, and he's done a nice job back there uh, so far and you get the ball in his hands enough you know he's an explosive guy that's gonna make some plays how much are you trying to develop the rest of the special teams in the spring oh that's that's a huge credit part of it you know and, and especially in, in today's era of college football where you have so much turnover from year to year um, there is nothing from a fundamental standpoint that you can take for granted there's a there's a bunch of guys that are hearing things for the first time and um, you know for us the foundation of everything we do is in our special teams fundamentals so you know that growth and that development is critical for everybody whether they're going to be a key special teams player or not because those core fundamentals are what allows you to be a good player on offense and defense as well.